Auto Line on the Road at Cars MBS has been brought to you by Borg Warner. With special thanks to the Center for Automotive Research. Quentin Messer is the CEO of the Michigan Economic Development Corporation. And Quentin, it seems to me that you guys are really putting on the push to make Michigan and especially Southeast Michigan a hotbed of activity for entrepreneurs. Well, thanks for affording us the opportunity. Look, uh, Michigan has to continue to earn the right to get an oversized share of not only today's mobility, but future mobility opportunities. Uh, this is an incredibly advanced manufacturing uh, segment of the economy, and we understand that we have to earn it. Competition is stiff, and uh, nothing is going to be promised. What kind of things are you doing to, to really inculcate, you know, uh, or create a, an atmosphere for more entrepreneurs in this area? Yeah, so it's a great question. I mean, first of all, you've got to do uh, really four different things. One, talent, talent, talent. Um, and we have, I mean, the governor has launched 60 by 30 to make sure that by 2030, 60% of all Michiganders have some sort of associate degree or some sort of high value credential. That ensures that the workplace, that men and women across this great state on both peninsulas are gonna have the wherewithal to adjust to technological change and disruption. The second thing, we're making sure that we have a more advanced site readiness portfolio. Speed to market is critically important. Companies are looking for places where they can come and have sites that are really uh, shovel ready within six, nine months. We have work to do on that. We're closing the gap. Um, the third thing is we're making sure, and we have great partnerships with our utilities, making sure that utility rates are competitive, that they are uh, easily understood. Um, and we have, you know, shout out to the Public Service Commission. And the last thing, we need to make sure, uh, regardless of people's personal philosophy, it's a little bit like, I'm a big sports man, it's a little bit like name, image, and likeness. You may not like it, but if you're gonna compete and you're gonna recruit athletes, you're gonna to have to have that, the same thing with regard to economic incentives. And in a bipartisan fashion, we've had responsible, tailored incentives that are performance-based. MEDC is doing some very interesting projects too. One of my favorite that I've learned about is this powered roadway for Absolutely. electric vehicles. What's the status of that right now? So, you know, uh, Bipartisan legislation was passed. Uh, Senator Ken Horn uh, in the Senate, Republican um, from Northeast Michigan. One of the things that the governor did when she became governor in 2019 was create the nation's first chief mobility officer role. Trevor Paul's done tremendous work with that. We now have an Office of Future Mobility and Electrification. This is continuing the work of that. And it's really risk-taking entrepreneurs. You know, Michigan has always been a place of innovation and a way for entrepreneurs to realize their, 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 their entrepreneurial journeys here in Michigan. And the next generation of mobility is gonna be written here because of our ability to work with these entrepreneurs. Yeah, and just so anybody watching knows, this is where roadways will have electric power in them for inductive charging for electric cars to drive on so they don't need the battery juice. So when they go off the road, their battery still has as much charge as it did when they got on the road. No, you're absolutely right. And the th big thing about this, this is critically important to make sure that we accelerate the rate of adaption for EVs. I mean, their articles have been shown uh, Michigan is, is, is coming along nicely, but there's still work to do. And if you're going to be a center of uh, ingenuity, a center of innovation, you have to make sure that the com consumer adoption, the infrastructure, the roadways, the charging station, all those things are in place. And so this is part of a holistic approach. It really is a Team Michigan approach, and more importantly, you have to have the infrastructure to make yourselves an attractive, attractive place for investment. The powered roadway is one of my favorite things of what the MEDC is doing. What else? What am I missing here that might be worth pointing out? Well, look, I think that, first of all, thanks for the opportunity. MEDC has a very unique opportunity to really connect across not just the latest and greatest in innovation, power roadways, you know, through the Office of Future Mobility and Electrification. But it's an important thing, still pure Michigan, you know, travel Michigan. Really making sure that people come up and, 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 and experience great venues like Traverse City. But more importantly, connect that to get people to understand to stay. You know, I really think that particularly in an era of more and more extreme weather, we're going to be a climate winner. And I think it's getting people to understand it's not just a great place to visit, but it's also a great place to live, 
raise your family, more importantly, realize your entrepreneurial aspiration. And that's a part of the holistic uh, business attraction, making sure our overall environment, placemaking, you've got to make sure that beyond just having a great job, that you have amenities that are going to attract young people, people like me, not so young, but you know, families, and, and that's holistic approach. Because we're not just work. We're not just work beings, we are full beings. And I think Michigan, uh, in many respects, is really best all around. And that's what we aim to, to communicate at MEDC. Quentin, thanks for your time. Very interesting what MEC, MEDC is doing. And thanks for bringing us up to speed with what your real focus is here. Well, I'm very grateful for what you've done. And it's a tremendous testimony. It's important storytelling matters and narrative change matters. And I think one of the things that we in Michigan, Michiganders are very humble, but I'm a Southerner, native of the South, and, it's, and there's a saying down South, it ain't bragging if it's true. And Michigan will always be the, the centerpiece of American innovation. Perfect, well said. Thank you so much, appreciate it. The world is changing at an ever-increasing pace. No matter what the mode of transportation, there is always the need for an efficient propulsion system. And that's exactly what Borg Warner has been doing since the earliest days of the automotive industry. 